Hey, what's good, folks? The Anthony here from the Dad Vlog, and today we're going to talk about a baby monitor, but not just any baby monitor, a monitor that incredibly resembles a lollipop. The good folks over at Lollipop sent this over for me to take a look at it, and boy, did I take a look at it. It's my world, the constellation. All right, before we get started, I know we were supposed to be working on this consistency thing. It was supposed to be a video, you know, every week. And I think I'm behind like one week, but I have a good reason why I've been working on something. We have a clothing line called Create Dope Humans. And now these shirts are available in toddlers, youth, and infants. Picking up one of these shirts is a great way to support the channel. And if you're into that kind of thing, just go ahead, click the link in the description. Without further ado, baby monitors have come a long way since the first one in 1937. And this one here that we're looking at is pretty sleek and I'm very excited to show it to you guys. Now our four month old Aaliyah is no longer sleeping in our bed and she is now in her crib far, far, far away. We still need that visibility to her, which is why this baby monitor comes into play. Now when it comes to baby monitors, here is what is important to me safety and privacy, convenience and ease of use, useful features, and of course, price. The biggest thing I worry about when it comes to any Wi-Fi monitor is has the company taken the correct precautions to prevent unauthorized usage and access to my baby monitor. Privacy mode on the Lollipop gives access only to people who are connected to your Wi-Fi network, reducing the risk of an outsider accessing the monitor. That is a good thing. I've seen countless stories of monitors being hacked too easily. So this big deal, really big deal for me. Privacy mode is for anybody who is connected to your network. But if you're anything like me and you like to take late night strolls around the neighborhood by yourself, you're clearly away from your Wi-Fi network. In that sense, there's an option for you to cut that privacy mode off and you can still have access while you are away out to dinner, babysitter comes through, long walk on the lonely, through the lonely neighborhood, something like that. Another feature that is good, as soon as somebody else accesses your lollipop, <laughs> as soon as somebody else accesses your lollipop, you get a notification. So in the event that something happens, you will get a notification that says this person has just now connected to your lollipop. Let's look at features. The packaging here is incredibly sleek. I do enjoy the branding efforts here. Now you can get this in a few different colors. They have pink and they also have teal. I think it would be good if they had a larger range of colors just you know, to kind of keep it, but I think it's part of their branding and their, their marketing strategy. They're only sticking with a couple colors. We went with the teal because it matches the little flowers that Rachel put on the wall. What comes in the package is you get some screws, some mounting screws, and you get this right here. This is actually a branch and you can put it in there like so and mount it to the wall. I actually thought this was an antler. I thought this was a deer antler. I was like, why, why would they give me an antler? And they only gave me one at that. Definitely not an antler, definitely is a branch for wall decor design. Now, the cool thing about some of the features on here is you can take pictures in real time and store them to your library right there on the lollipop. Now, while you can take pictures, I haven't found the way to be able to take video. And maybe something that they offer in their their upsell of lollipop care but on this free version just day to day i haven't been able to figure out how to record video now if you have a google home or some kind of screen with a virtual assistant you can connect your wi-fi baby monitor to these displays on the website it says that it's compatible with google home but i have not been able to connect my um my lollipop to the google home it just it just doesn't work. There's no drop down for it. I went through it about 17 times. It, you can't connect it. And that that kind of sucks because in the middle of the night, you know, something happens, you have to kind of go through the phone and open it. And there's no just external monitor for you to just kind of roll over, press a quick button and look at like some other non Wi-Fi related monitors. The image is very crisp on the lollipop. I like the way that it looks on my phone. It broadcasts in 1080p, but the thing that I just don't really care for is I can't rotate the camera at all. 
So I have to put the camera in a very specific location. I have to be comfortable with that location. There's no looking around the room or anything like that. Just baby, 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 that's it. Now, if you like, you can bend your lollipop and sit it maybe on the table or on a nightstand next to your crib. It has what is most likely a wire on the inside of this silicone exterior that's bendable that allows you to place the baby monitor on a table or a nightstand. Mounting is pretty easy. As soon as you open up the app, there's three different ways that you can mount your lollipop. Now we put the eyes right on the crib, directly facing kind of diagonally downward, but you can just as easily mount it on the uh, antler or the branch if you like. <laughs> you can set the monitor up to notify you if the room gets over a certain DPs. So if the room gets too loud, you get a notification on your phone that, that there is an increase or uptick in noise. That uptick is most likely your baby crying. Now, if your child is one that needs music to go to sleep, there are some options on there that you can use. Mozart, chopping, a hair dryer, a vacuum, sea wave, some water, and if the baby is still in the womb, a hair dryer. She doesn't care about a hair dryer. All right, when it comes to cost, you're looking at about $150 for your very own lollipop baby monitor. In my opinion, it's a very competitive price considering everything that it does. And when you look in the baby Wi-Fi market, even regular Wi-Fi camera markets, it's on par to about that. The additional thing that they add is their Lollipop Care. Now that ranges from $29.99 per year all the way up to $200 per year. You get a few extra features like the ability to record continuously for 24 hours. Now I think the basic version is just fine and it's worked for us pretty well. So depending on your style, there may or may not be a need to actually add on this lollipop care. So that's it guys. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, very cool looking, looks like an eye. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the product review for the lollipop baby monitor. If you would like your own lollipop monitor, link is in the description. Also, if you're racking your hand and trying to figure out a way to support the channel, the Create Dope Humans merch link is in the description. Go pick you up one. But with that, I'm going to have an awesome day and I hope you have an awesome day back. Devlog. I used to make this noise when I was a kid, like, and then I would couple it with. Lonely child I was, lonely child.